What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, we are going to be looking at the fact that there are descending fractals forming on almost, no, actually on every single cryptocurrency that we track here on the channel, XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. We haven't seen anything on the S&P 500, although there probably is one that could be drawn, but on the major cryptos like XRP and Ethereum, as well as Bitcoin, there are descending fractals forming here, and these typically have a bullish bias, which is what we're looking for. And I do have an article I do want to discuss with you today that might actually confirm that thought that we do have around these cryptos. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I do have this article pulled up here, which is on Bloomberg and says Bitcoin may have hit a floor after Powell's speech. And if you guys have been paying attention to the channel the past couple of days, Powell's speech came out saying that he does continue and plan on continuing to increase inflation, or sorry, inc increase interest rates to curb inflation uh, more aggressively for the rest of this year, which a lot of people weren't you know, too thrilled about, especially because inflation started to fall last month. And they thought, hey, maybe it's time we can settle down and stop raising rates. Well, Powell said the opposite, and we saw major correction, a major 3% dip in the S&P 500, and pretty much every major indexes on, you know, on the stock market here. So it is going to be quite interesting to see how exactly we start to trade out. Yesterday was a big determination as, hey, are we hitting the bottom or are we going to continue to fall? And now I'm starting to believe there might literally be more reason to see correction, and there's a good chance now we might actually fall down to about 3,900 points on the S&P 500 before we see a major correction to the upside. So I do want to discuss possibilities of buying in long, possibilities of shorting these major cryptocurrencies with you in a minute here. But with all that being said, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, before we dive into the technical analysis, hopefully you know that I do have a new channel, a second channel that I just started probably like three months ago here. It's called Hayden Schreier, my name, and it's specifically about everything finance and the economy. As you guys can see, I dropped a video yesterday in regards to China's massive economy and how there's a good chance a collapse is coming here, or at least what could be a pretty substantial and devastating one to China's overall economy. So if you guys want to support me over there, or if you're interested in learning about it, which I highly recommend as it could affect you, definitely make sure to check this out. Link is down in the description of today's video. But moving on to the technical analysis, as you guys can see here, most of the major cryptocurrencies aren't doing too bad. We're actually starting to see a recovery bounce. We're up 4% right now, 3.92. Ethereum's up 7.9%. BNB is up 4.79 and XRP is up one and a half. We're not doing too bad overall, but we are up about 4% on average here. And we don't look too bad, even though we did see a pretty substantial correction to the downside a couple of days ago. Now, with these cryptos starting to see this descending fractal here and with Jerome Powell coming out with some bearish news, which caused this correction here, I do want to show you guys this article. And it says Bitcoin may have hit a floor after Powell's speech, which is quite interesting and something we discussed yesterday. As you can see here, we have three, we have a triple bottom in play where we actually fell and retested major resistances. One, two, and then three right here. And you can see that's kind of where we're coming down to meet the past or probably in the next couple of days here. We got very close to it yesterday. We didn't actually hit it, but there's a good chance as we form and close the rest of the week. Up until the 3rd of September, we might actually hit the support and then bounce off of here. So I am quite excited. But the article goes on to say Bitcoin quivered but didn't fold after Jerome Powell signaled higher for longer interest rates to fight inflation, as we said. A pattern that for brave prognosticators could be a hint for uh, of a floor for digital cryptocurrencies. The largest crypto is down about 6% since Powell's hawkish August 26 Jackson Hole speech underlined that the Federal Reserve wants to subdue financial markets as part of a push to curb economic activity and contain price pressures. That's a smaller drop than traders are conditioned to expect in any volatile asset. But as you guys can see here, in regards to holding the line, Bitcoin is staying above $20,000 despite Powell's hawkish turn. And as you guys can see right here, I pulled it a little bit lower, closer to 19,000, something like maybe 19 and change, 19 thousand on the dot actually not 20k but it depends on which exchange you use but you can clearly see this is where the support is and that's where a lot of people are starting to outline bottom support being too so i am you know quite happy to say that we are holding this very 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 well but everything kind of relies and falls back to are we going to hold above that are we going to break below that that's the major question in regards to buying in long or shorting the crypto but as you guys can see here bitcoin is showing some resilience here as it 
has clawed back above 20,000 level, despite widespread stock market weakness. And that's the big thing too. We did have an overall correction here though on the 26th, as well as the S&P 500. So it did influence the correction here, but there's a chance that cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP might be actually holding this price floor where the triple bottom had actually come into place on most of these major cryptocurrencies here. And we might actually be able to hold the line and inevitably start to correct back up, which is what I'm excited for. But obviously this is something that we're all starting to notice here. And it all comes down to how we react to this bottom support and this price floor. Let me just pull it up super quick. Why is it doing that? Okay, here we go. And as you guys can see, we are getting very close. We're hitting resistance right now and probably going to get rejected off the price ceiling and the downtrend here. And we are going to be getting close to retesting once again this bottom support, something we haven't done in a while. Last time we were there was closer to July 13th. But XRP is going to continue to fill in this gap. And we need to see, are we going to hold this floor or are we going to break to the upside here? That's the biggest, and I mean the biggest determination. Are we breaking through or are we going to start to correct to the upside here? So we're going to see in the next couple of days, this gets retested September 3rd, which is about four days from right now. And we'll see what exactly is going to happen here. If we break through and close a daily below this, we are going to see an immediate dump, most likely with big volume because it's the first time we've broken in a very long time here as we've retested it in the past. And we should see a major short opportunity open up to correct to the downside here. But as you guys can see with ascending fractals breaking bearish, there's more uh, bullish bias on these descending fractals that they most likely will be breaking to the upside here with a target probably closer to 41 cents if I had a guess. And that's truly what I'm waiting for to buy in long and leverage to the upside here. But until we see any sort of correction or at least until we get down to here, I'm not going to be doing any sort of trading. We really just have to wait this out. Same thing with Ethereum and these other cryptos. This descending fractal needs to play out first before we do any sort of significant trading. So it's mainly going to be just a, a waiting game right now. I do have trades updated on Patreon. That's for Patreon. But my overall consensus for people that are off of Patreon and are just watching the channel here would be to wait it out and wait for a correction to happen. Bitcoin as well is see, starting to see a correction to the downside here, filling in the gap, coming to the bottom support here. And we need to wait for this to be retested as well before we see any major buy-in opportunities here. Once we fill in this gap, if we break the price floor, we can short to the downside. If we can get above here, we can long it to the upside and so on and so forth. Same thing with the S&P 500. We'll see how this plays out. There's a chance now that we could continue to spiral lower, which is unfortunate, but then I believe we will see a correction. As you guys know, a correction was necessary. It was expected and anticipated. We thought it would just be this. However, we actually started to see us correct even lower. I thought the most we could do is maybe just trade sideways, and that's not actually what happened. Unfortunately, we broke bearish and are starting to, to correct lower, but I believe the lowest point we'll probably go down to is 3,900 here, and then maybe we'll start to rebound off and head to the upside here. It was necessary because we were overbought, but that's pretty much it. And if you guys are wondering why I might be out of breath, even though it might not sound like it now, I did drop a, a bench press on me this morning and it knocked the wind out of me if you guys are watching this late. So I'm letting you guys know, and it fell kind of on the side of my chest. I it rolled out of one hand and I still had it up on my left hand. So it kind of hit the side of my chest and make my sternum hurt. So I believe it's bruised, but uh, I got to wait a day or two. And now the pain's starting to come in. So we'll see what exactly happens. But um, that's pretty much why I might sound like this and not normal. And it's hard to kind of, you know, take really deep breaths. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. I might go to a doctor. We'll see how this plays out in the next couple of hours here. But with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn up those notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.